Before we get into our training video, if by chance you found this video as a recommended video on YouTube, this training video is actually part of an extensive Corel Draw for Beginners training series from AdvancedTShirts.com. We have developed dozens of videos and we also have available on our website downloadable work along files that you can work with in Corel Draw while you're working through the training videos. Easily the best and fastest way to learn. If these videos are helpful to you, please take a second to add a like to the video and subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can be notified when we upload new video content. And of course, in the comment section below, you can post your questions or your Corel Draw video tutorial requests. In this video session, we're going to go over moving, scaling, and rotating objects. Be working with the pick tool. There's two modes in Corel Draw that you can use to scale and rotate objects, and those are the scale and stretch mode and the rotation and skew mode. Now, if I hover over an object to select it, left click one time by default, the object will be in the scale and stretch mode. And we can see the scale handles here left click hold down that will scale the object up or left click hold down and move my mouse down I'm moving my mouse to scale this is a stretch handle left click hold down move forward I'll stretch that horizontally up if I pull back I'll stretch it horizontally down from the stretch handle so that's the default mode when an object is selected, the scale and stretch mode. Here is the center point of the object that is selected, or this could be a group of objects as well, even though we're working with just an object. Now, if I left click a second time, the object will change the mode that it's in to rotate and skew. Now I have rotation handles, left click, hold down, I can rotate the object moving my mouse, holding down my left mouse button. I'll hit Control Z. Also, here is a skew handle. Left click, hold down, move to the right. I'll skew to the right. Hit Control Z to go back. Left click, hold down here, and I'll skew vertically down. Or if I push forward with my mouse, I'll skew up pull back down push forward up so those two modes you want to be aware of and you also want to be aware of that the center point can be moved from the rotation and skew mode you'll see my cursor change when I hover over that left click hold down I can move that center point so I could rotate around a different center point as opposed to the actual center point I'll hit control Z and control Z to undo and move that back. So there we have the two different modes that we'll be working with when we're scaling and rotating objects. Now to move an object, I can just left click and just move it anywhere I want in the workspace. Left click, hold down, release. Very simple. Now let's take a look at some of the shortcut keys and things like that we have to work with. And those are all listed down here, which are all included in the work along file for this tutorial, which you can download for free from our website. And these hotkeys and shortcut keys come in very handy in a lot of ways when you're doing graphic design work in Corel Draw. So these references are very good to have on hand so that you can work with them and start working with them in your design flow. Now, if I just left click hold down, I can move the object anywhere I want. But if I hold down control, I'll be constrained to move the object on the same plane or in the same line horizontally or vertically. You can see I can't move the object down just on the same plane. If I come down here, no matter how far I pull down, eventually it's going to switch over there. But I can't come up here and move the object up there. Everything is constrained to the vertical or horizontal plane or line the object would be on or aligned with. I'll hit Control Z. Now if I hold down Shift from the Rotate and Skew mode, and I'll click again, left click again, now we change to the Rotate and Skew mode, and I hold down my Shift button, I can 
rotate and scale at the same time. So I could rotate and scale at the same time. I wouldn't be locked into just rotating the object. And I'll see how that works. I'll hit Control Z. And it could be with the skew holding down shift, that has no effect, so it won't do anything there. I'll hit Control Z. Now if I go back to the scale and stretch mode, and then I hold down shift, I'm going to scale from the center point. You can see my cursor change. Now that can come in handy sometimes if I want to duplicate an object inside an object, but make it smaller. Right click one time, now I'm going to duplicate that object. It'll be perfectly centered and scaled down. I'll hit Control Z, and it's the same thing from the stretch handles, holding down shift, stretch from the center, both horizontally and vertically. And if I just hold this down, you'll see I'll start pushing this way, but this won't be affected. That's without holding down shift and stretching. And I'll hit Control Z to go back. If I left click the object and go to the rotation and skew mode, go to the rotation handle, hold down control, and my rotation will be constrained to 15 degree increments. And you can see that constraint. And it's kind of ticking around there. Also, if I hold down control from the scale and stretch mode, and I'll click again to go back to that, I'll only be able to increase the object based on 100% increments. You can see I'm doubling the size of the object there. I'll hit Control Z, and it's the same thing here. Not until it's 100% bigger. I'll hit Control Z, and if I hold down Shift and Control, it's going to be 100% bigger or double the size coming from the center of the object. You can see that I can't do anything here going to the center, only to the outside. Release that, and I've just doubled the size of the object, a 100% increase in size. I'll hit Control z to go back. Also, from the scale and stretch mode, if I hold down the Alt key, it'll change to the Freeform tool. And I can Freeform, change the shape, scale it, etc. But I can't rotate it. I'll hit Control z go back, left-click, go to the Rotation and Skew mode, hold down Alt, and now I'll be in Distortion mode. And you can see how that works. So there's many different ways that we can scale objects, move objects, rotate objects, and work with them. And working with the hotkeys that we have here, you can practice with those. We also have the Properties bar for the scaling and rotating of an object, and that's up here. And I could rotate this 15 degrees, 15.0, hit Enter, and that will rotate that. I'll hit Control Z. I can also scale the object from the object width and height. Now here we have the lock ratio option. If this is turned on, let's say I want to make this rectangle exactly two inches by two inches. If I have the lock ratio enabled, if I change this to 2.0 and hit enter, it's going to maintain the same ratio, but it's only going to be two inches wide. But if I turn this off, the lock ratio, and change this to 2.0 and then hit enter, my rectangle shape will now be exactly two inches by two inches. So you can see how we can work from the properties bar also for our scaling and rotating. And if we want exact sizes, this is where we set that up in the property bar for the object over here on the left hand side. You can also mirror objects and I'll go to the rotation and skew mode, and I'll zoom out a bit here, and we'll just bring this over here. I can mirror this object horizontally, and that'll rotate it 195 degrees, or I could do it vertically. And you can see how that works. You've got mirror vertically and mirror horizontally. 
and I'll hit Control Z to go back to my square. So we'll wrap here for our session on moving, scaling, and rotating objects, and you can download the file in practice with the hotkeys and working with your objects moving, scaling, and rotating them. And this would apply to either objects by themselves or groups of objects. It would work the same way. I'm just working with rudimentary shapes and objects in CorelDRAW because this is training for beginners. But no matter what you have selected, all of these hotkeys and techniques absolutely apply to moving, scaling, and rotating objects. We'll wrap here and we'll continue in our next training video.